A lot of my work has to do with the importance of studying real people in real lives. Occupational therapy and occupational science are my disciplinary home. I like the human development side of things. In the late 80s, I did something that you couldn't do today, a national telephone interview study. Although I liked in some ways the standardized techniques, I realized I was always asking people to stop talking because they would try to tell me stories. I had to tell them, I need you to answer this question in this way, frequently, sometimes, or never, for example. But I think that people make sense of their experiences through stories. There was something about the way storytelling both helped them learn and express and represent their own experiences in ways that were important to them. And I think that's one of the things that our work should be doing, is making sure that people do have voice to say what they really think and what needs to be said. The research data and stories and narrative can give people examples that might apply to their lives. And that's more the kind of work I do now, which is more qualitative and ethnographic. The title of my lecture is The Mattering of Little Things. And in the research that I've done working with people of some kind of developmental disability, I've learned to alert to the phrase, it's a little thing. Things like routine or mundane activities, sometimes when those aren't available to people or they're not able to do them in the way they once would, when they have those opportunities again, they become kind of an extraordinary achievement. My research experiences changed me personally in a number of ways, as well as professionally in a number of ways. It certainly changed my ideas about what relationships should be like between researchers and people from the community. And I'm still in some ways learning what those changes are, and some of them are still happening. I feel very honored to be receiving the AOTA Eleanor Clark Slagle Lectureship Award. It's a tremendous privilege, and I'm very much appreciative of the legacy of the award. I find myself both excited about it and also somewhat intimidated by it as well. I don't think when I started out that I actually had a full arc of the career that I have, where it would go and what it would be. I found that I've often been drawn back to educational settings, and I think it's partly the love of learning. I like writing, I like problem solving and thinking things out. And one thing I liked about occupational science is that it did have a focus on lifelong learning. Mm -hmm.